Once in a forest, there lived a peacock. It was too proud of its beautiful and colorful feathers. It never stopped boasting and never got tired of admiring itself. Oh, I have such wonderful feathers. No other bird in the forest is as pretty as me. It also never missed a chance to mock at other birds. Wow, the colors of your feathers are so elegant and bright. And the beacon on your head is admirable. Well, I take good care of them. Besides, I am gifted, you see. Hmm, I can sing well. But I wish I had such colorful and soft feathers, too. Huh, <laughs> you? Ha! Look at yourself. There is no chance you can have any. <laughs> the other birds in the forest were annoyed with such mockery and proud behavior. Such a show off. Come on, let's go from here. There's no point in trying to be friendly. But the peacock was too proud. Mm, you are all just jealous of me. One day, as the peacock was strolling around, it noticed a beautiful white crane alighting on the ground. The peacock admired the crane. Wow! What long legs and slender neck! I don't like its feathers, though. Hmm, but my feathers are just perfect. The peacock was curious and wandered near the crane. But the crane ignored the peacock's presence and continued to peck on its food. Hello! You have such beautiful legs and a slender neck. Thank you so much. But the crane went on with its business without paying much attention to the peacock or its beauty. The peacock danced and flaunted its colorful feathers, hoping for Crane's admiration. But yet, the crane continued with its work and paid little attention to the peacock. What? Not a word on how I look? How come the crane has hardly noticed me? Finally, don't you like my beautiful feathers? Well, you have such plain and dull ones. Aren't you jealous of me? The crane laughed at the peacock's ignorance and said, oh, Yes, your feathers are indeed beautiful. But of what use are they except for showing off? Yes, tell me of any other use. Can you? <laughs> I have light feathers. They may be plain in color, but they are strong to take me around the world. I fly and see beautiful places. Do you? Huh? Do you? The peacock nodded sadly to say no. I don't need fancy feathers. I like what I have. Moreover, we should learn to be humble and considerate. There is no need to be so proud of yourself. <laughs> okay, now I have to fly north to see the beautiful rainbows. Bye. Saying so, the crane flew off to the sky. The peacock hung his head in shame. He had met his match. After all, he was not the only best.